Hello everybody, this is Kiyoshi here and welcome back for another video. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Inosuke figure from the Sega Demon Slayer Chokonose series. Um, this figure was just released earlier this month in April 2021 in Japan. So let's get started with the review. Um, let's start with the box, um, the packaging. It's a very standard Sega style packaging. Uh, where the previous figures, the Tanjiro figure and the Saints figure came with the similar box set. Uh, I mean, similar design and the size of the box are very similar as well. Uh, it's quite unique and I think the box is okay. It's standard, you know, like a standard Sega PM figure um, box set. Yep. And move that away. Come, here comes the main character, the Yunosuke figure. Um, first impression impressive i think sega nailed this figure as well the likeness the pose um the design everything i think this is so far the best demon slayer trigona set figure in the series you know um i also did my review on the saints figure and the tangela figure and if you guys have not seen it go watch it <laughs> please and yeah just based on my on hand experience this is the best figure um, in my opinion, um, first the one very unique feature feature of this you know sketch figure is the removable mask, uh, the bore mask, the signature bore mask. Um, it came separately with the figure. You can either display them separately, or if you can you can display them together, like so. It's quite unique and adorable. Oh. Yep, let's take a look at the uh, boar mask, the signature mask. I think, you know, um, like I said, for Sega, this is a very well-made um, Borg mask. Um, you know, I, I think, yeah, it's, it's, it's standard painted, you know, nothing fancy here. But, you know, it got all the key features um, and it looks just like... The mask on the on the move in the movie or in in the anime, and here's the uh, you know sketch figure. Uh, like I said, the head scope it's amazing. There are many you know sketch figure uh, figures out there, but a lot of them had the wrong eye color. You know this this one has the correct eye color. Isn't that amazing? Um, if you watch the anime or the movie or the manga, you know sketch has green eyes. But a lot of the uh, figures nowadays, they they made it blue eyes for some reason. So I'm this is one thing that I'm very happy about. They made it, you know, and also the look. The look of, you know, Ske, it's spot on. You know, um, I think Sega nailed this figure. Uh, very impressive. And the rest of the scopes of the hair, um, it's just normal, you know. The uh, pain wise, it's just normal. It's average. You know, um, yeah, and then the pose. I really like this pose. Um, again, um, it it it's just like Inosuke. You know, <laughs> Inosuke is not my favorite character in the Demon Slayer series. To be honest with you, I find him choto urusai. You know, uh, uh, the way uh, just a little bit noisy, a little bit. Um, as sometimes his personality is a little bit annoying at the same time, but you know. Um, I, I think he's a cool character. It just he wasn't my favorite, but this figure is a really good figure. So um, I don't know. Um, I, I I actually really like this figure. You know, um, impressively sculpted and well painted as well. You know, like I said, this is standard uh, Sega painting style. So it's very simple. Um, there's not much shadings to the color. There's not much, you know, vivid color vibrations um, to the the painting, to the paint apps. But um, this is just Sega style, you know. Uh, if you have had a Sega figure before, you know what you're getting into. And I think overall, this is okay. You know, I, I think uh, I think this figure it's well sculpted and well painted as well. You know, I I I don't have any problem with the paint apps. Um, and my figure came pretty nicely i don't see any major defects or any major pain splashes or, or problems um yeah it's probably the best figure i have of inosuke so far you know um 
this figure costs at about 20 to 25 bucks in japan uh, us dollar in japan um so with the price no complaint at all again here we have the sega made in china logo um just like the previous figures yeah i got a closer look of yeah look at i just i love this figure <laughs> i don't know what to say but i think this is really nice nicely made figure um all the sculpture i think it's it's it they did it wonderfully um yeah every single detail i like it i like it and then with the hat on yeah it's just amazing anyways um i would give it a nine out of ten you know um i think this is really well made figure and just for a little improvement if, if there could be would be the uh the connecting lines you know um for example you know the arms with the shoulder that connecting piece um it's kind of visible you know that's kind of annoying in in some ways but you know sometimes it's unavoidable for these uh massive you know mass produced figures um but yeah uh, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Highly recommend anyone who are a Demon Slayer fan to own this figure. And also, the one cool thing about these th this Trigonus is, is it does not need any uh, stands or base to have it sit down properly. You know, it just sits on the floor. Voila. Anyhow, <laughs> I think this is an amazing figure. And if you're interested, please go get it before the price goes up. And I'm very sure... You know, with its popularity, you know, this figure will double the price or maybe even triple the price. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching and I hope you like my review. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye bye.